among the stars, she realizes her fate, that she was born to be Cinderella. And we're going to have Cinderella as the spring musical. It was destiny. And she is Cinderella. And I am her stepmother. That's why, that is why she can't talk. Because she has to sing after school and she's losing her voice. So we're going to talk about this interview with Christian Ortiz. Because he can talk. Hi, I'm Jesse Ochowski. Today I'm here with Christian Ortiz, a cast member in the Spring Musical. So can you tell me what your Spring Musical is going to be this year? Uh, this year the Spring Musical is Cinderella. Okay. And what is this story about? Uh, it's the it's a newer version of Cinderella. It's the Rodgers and Hammerstein's version, which um, is more. It's not the classical Disney version that most people are familiar with. It's yeah. more dancey, more sing-songy, but in a modern perspective. It's um, more up to date, and a lot of today's people enjoy it more than just the Disney version. Yeah. So it's something that kids and older people will enjoy as well. So can you um, describe a couple of the characters, and you're one of them, so. Oh, <laughs> I'm a reverend and a guard, but um, the leads are actually uh, Cinderella, of course, who is this um, pretty much an orphan. She's taken in by her stepmother, and uh, she's treated like a servant, and then there's a godmother who, mm -hmm. of course, helps her out, gives her dresses, turns everything yeah. special for, for the ball. There's Prince Charming. Um, there are the stepsisters who are still pretty much the same, spoiled, rotten, mm -hmm. always wanting their way, uh, and the stepmother who is pretty much the same. And so um, these are students at our high school. Can you name what students play which parts? Uh, Jessica Gross, fantastic singer. <laughs> yes. Uh, she plays the stepmother, and she's doing a very good job at it. <laughs> um, there's Stephanie Glenn and uh, Audrey as uh, the stepsisters. All three of them together are fantastic I can acting imagine. in it. Yeah. Um, Christopher Waters, he's the Prince Charming, who actually surprised me. He has an amazing voice. He really shown up since last year. Uh, Jordan Avery, Cinderella, she has a fantastic voice as well and fits the character of Cinderella very well too. There's the king and queen. The queen is uh, Katie Korowski and uh, the king is, forgot his name for a second, James Walker. <laughs> and you said there's a king and queen. How does that um, incorporate itself into the Cinderella? They act as, well they are the mother and father of a uh, uh, Prince Charming and they kind of give this perspective where um, they kind of tap into the prince's emotional side because he isn't sure what he wants but they help in certain scenes they help reassure him through it and make sure he's making the right decision for himself. Yeah. Um, what challenges have you guys faced during this rehearsal? During rehearsals we've definitely faced problems with people not showing up uh, costuming issues, uh, distractions, yeah. people just blatantly talking sometimes, but we're teenagers, it, <laughs> like, we just do that sometimes. We all know what we have to do and we get it done. So what are you personally looking forward to the most? I'm just looking forward to the experience. I love being in shows, I love being in musicals. It's just really fun to just be in it, have everyone rely on everyone. It's really good to bring people together. So um, what makes this year different than in past years? Well, this is my last year, so yeah. it's definitely something I really want to make count if I really want this show to go well. And yeah. I feel like it is. There's also a lot of new people this year, uh, freshmen and sophomores yeah. too. Um, so tell us about the spaghetti dinner that's oh, going to be taking place. Yeah, that's um, on the Sunday show, I think it is. Before the um, night show, there's going to be a spaghetti dinner that's $15, and that's the ticket and the spaghetti dinner, so you sit down. And when, can you, hmm? when can you buy these tickets? 
Uh, you can buy them by just asking either Miss Danoff or any of the people involved in the drama club. And what goes on at this spaghetti dinner? Uh, you sit down, eat spaghetti. Um, then and this once is during you, the show? No, this is before, before the show. Before the show. Then when you're done eating, wait around, talk a bit, have fun, and then you sit down and see the show. So tell me about the spaghetti dinner. When is that going to take place? That's going to be April 20th after the matinee but before the evening show you can uh, pay fifteen dollars that's for the dinner and ticket included and that's advanced right you have to buy yeah it before. you can talk to either miss danoff or anyone in the drama club and we'll give you a ticket form and so when is um when is this musical going to be the musical is going to be april 19th and 20th there's going to be one performance on friday and two on saturday okay so um can people buy these tickets at the door yes tickets are available at the door Okay, thank you. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, everyone should come see the show. If you have any friends, tell them about it. If you have any younger siblings, they'll enjoy it. Any kids, um, your mother, your father, anybody. <laughs> Just get it out there. Thank you. You heard that, guys. Go see Cinderella. I'm Jesse Ruchowski. I just talked to Christian Ortiz about the spring musical. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.